Hey, ERBC family. Don't know if you caught it on the news this week, but there's been a change in what's being recommended for us to slow the spread of COVID-19. That change doesn't have to do with our behavior, but rather with our vocabulary. The recommendation for us to stay at home has not changed. Ideally, we should all be leaving our homes only for essential business, not for recreation. And when we do venture out of our house, it's still recommended that we remain at least six feet away from others. But the World Health Organization, along with a number of other health organizations, have come up with the recommendation that we stop referring to what we're doing as social distancing and instead refer to it as physical distancing. Now that might sound to you just like a change in semantics, but to some of us, there's a specific reason that they're suggesting the change. And the reason is that physical distancing is good for you, social distancing is not. The term social distancing makes it sound like we should be turning inward and closing ourselves off from friends and neighbors in the outside world. And researchers tell us that that is the exact opposite of what we need to be doing right now. What they have found is that when physical distancing is in effect, we need to have as close of social ties as possible. Psychologists and sociologists have studied history and seen that social connections affect death rates after disasters, like hurricanes, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis. Time and time again, their research has shown that when people are part of a social network, their chances of survival are better. So the bottom line is, it's time for us to double down on our social connections while observing all the recommendations our leaders are giving us for maintaining safe physical distances from those around us. You know, it's interesting to see that social scientists have just recently discovered something that God told us following the creation of the very first man. If you read the creation account in Genesis, you'll see that after God created each thing he made, he looked at what he made and he called it good. It's good, it's good, it's good, with one exception. After God created the first man, he looked at him and said, something was not good. And the thing that God said was not good was that it was not good for the man to be alone. So he decided to make a helper for him and he created the woman. That same message that it's not good for man to be alone is repeated throughout the pages of scripture. Solomon in writing the book of Ecclesiastes said, two people are better off than one for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. He goes on and says, a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Solomon is reminding us of the truth that we are better together. We were created for community. So I wanted to encourage you to forget about social distancing and practice physical distancing. Beyond that, I want to encourage you to double down on your social connections. This weekend, if you join us for worship, you'll hear that one of the challenges that I'm going to give you one of the next steps that I'm going to encourage you to take is every day in the coming week to reach out to five people. I'm not going to ask you to visit them. You can't do that under our current safe at home guidelines, but you can make a phone call or send a text. Simply ask, how are you doing? Do you need anything? Is there anything I can be praying for? It would only take a few minutes to do, but it could make a big difference. Next weekend, Easter weekend, we're launching our life group signups for the spring semester. We can't meet for life groups in person, but we can meet online. And just as a side note, several of our groups are co so committed to community, so aware that we're better together, that they've already been meeting together online via Zoom or Skype or Google Hangouts. Even though we're technically in an in-between time when life groups aren't scheduled to meet, they wanted to get together. And there's going to be an opportunity for all of you to sign up for a life group beginning Easter weekend, and all of those groups will be meeting online. So I hope that you'll join. Remember, two are better than one. We were created for community.